Hi, it is September 15th, and we are in the roller crimper plots, and here we have the Aroostook, and then here we have the Control, that was just no-till beans, and we just did, uh, Brian Overstreet and I walked through and did a yield check, did four spots in each trip, and we're in that 60 to 70 bushels the acre, it's hard to tell, because pods could still fill out, but you can see that this strip here with the cereal rye was clearly uh, greener. So if we get a rain this weekend, uh, we could get some bigger pods. So that could make a difference. Um, this had the normal pre and post herbicide program. This um, had no pre and some of it had select sprayed on it because volunteer corn was coming up pretty bad. Um, but besides that, um, you know, that, that would win the day in terms of cost if you were just looking at that. Really, the, the Aroostook didn't need sprayed for, hardly need sprayed for uh, volunteer corn compared to the, the conventional no-till. Yes, that is true. Uh, we just did it because we were coming through here anyways. Uh, it was just easier to do that all. But just wanted to give an update on the roller crimper plots. And we'll do a final yield check on Aroostook variety as well as Albon and as well as some mess. Um, we'll see what we get. Dan Perkins, Cover Crop Guy, with Brian Overstreet, Purdue Extension.